Hi guys, Ramon Goose here. Welcome to The Guitar Show and the first episode of Historic Guitar Parts. In this episode we're going to be looking at Rolling Stone's classic song, The Last Time, and in particular the great playing by Brian Jones and Keith Richards. The song The Last Time was inspired by a 1955 gospel song called This May Be The Last Time by the Staple Singers. To quote Richards from 2003, he said, we came up with The Last Time, which was basically readapting a traditional gospel song that had been sung by the Staple Singers. But luckily the song itself goes back into the midst of time. The song was recorded at RCA Studios in Hollywood, California in January 1965, and it was a band's third single to reach number one in the UK singles chart. Although the production is credited to Andrew Lloyd Oldham, Phil Spector's wall of sound approach can also be heard on the recording as he assisted in the production. Okay guys, let's talk about the guitar gear used on this great track. Keith Richards can be seen recording with two guitars, a 1962 Epiphone Casino and a 1959 Gibson Les Paul Standard with a Bixby tremolo fitted. And Brian Jones would have more than likely used his Mark III teardrop Vox guitar. Here we can see Brian with his Vox guitar and Keith Richards with his 59 burst. Hi guys, before we learn Brian's guitar part, let's have a little mention about his guitar. It was a Vox 3 teardrop guitar. It was given to him by Vox as a prototype in 1963. And it pretty much um, was the same as a Fender Strat or Tele, whichever way you look at it. It had two pickups, one in the neck and one in the bridge. And it also used on this prototype guitar a real Fender Stratocaster tremolo. It was cut down on one side and also the block, the tremolo block, which you can see here, was actually cut as well because the Phantom Sorry, not the Phantom, the Vox teardrop guitar's body was actually thinner. So that's another interesting point about the guitar. As to what pickup, my guess just listening to the original song is he used the bridge position. Let's have a look at Brian's intro and verse riff. We're going to use our third finger here, put it on the uh, seventh fret D string, slide up. These are two quaver notes from the seventh fret to the ninth fret on the D string. Okay. Then we're going to put our first finger here whilst keeping our third finger attached to that D string, put our first finger on the G string seventh fret. And then we're going to come back to the third finger, which is on the ninth fret D string. So the whole sequence is. And then use our pinky here on the G string ninth fret. And we can use down up alternate picking. Okay, you can see that again. Make sure you accentuate those two notes. Okay, now we're going to keep our first finger here. We're going to do a hammer on using our third finger, open D, hammer on onto the ninth. So it sounds like this. Okay, then what we're going to do, we're going to bring our first finger down here to the sixth fret on the G string. And what Brian actually does, I'm pretty sure he does this, he uses still his third finger to hammer on onto the A string, seventh fret. That's a really cool sound. And that's over the A chord. We've got the, the major third here, the C sharp, and the fifth hammering from the root to the fifth note, which is an E. And that's our A chord in the sequence D, A, E. Okay, so you might want to use your second finger here instead. I've seen people even do this. And they do that so that they're, and then they're ready there for the chorus with this, which we're going to have a look at in a minute. So just again. That's the way I like to do it, which is, I think, how Brian Jones, from the footage that I've seen, it's quite hard, quite difficult to see his fingers, but I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. Okay, let's have a look at the chorus section of this song. Brian's guitar part is quite a country picking style. And actually, Brian was quite the country blues picker before he joined the Rolling Stones. So my guess is that you can, you can simplify this or you can do a little bit of a more advanced version. Let's check out the advanced version first. 
We've got an A major shape here from the fifth fret, which you will know you can play an E chord here and just move it up to the seventh fret, third finger on the seventh fret, and bar that on the fifth fret. Now we're going to go with a plectrum. We're going to go down on the E string, up on the G, down on the D, and then we've got down, down on the B and E, and down on the G. So it sounds like this. Okay, I'll do that really slowly. So it's the E string, up on the G, down on the D, up on the E, up on the B, down on the G. To make this easier for yourself, you might just want to play a smaller A shape. And the picking pattern for this particular pattern would be down, down, up, up, down. So down on the D, down on the G, up on the E, up on the B, down on the G. So guys, let's have a look at Keith Richards' guitar part. He played a 1959 Gibson Les Paul Standard, which featured a Bigsby tremolo. He didn't actually use that tremolo on this song, but what was really interesting was the way he strummed and picked the guitar. So when he was strumming chords, he would be on the neck pickup here, <coughs> which is this position, up, and he would strum over this neck pickup to give more mellow, a more mellow sound. And when he was picking the lead guitar solo, he would be on the back pickup over here to give a brighter and more cutting sort of sound. So let's learn the chords. Let's have a look at Keith Richards' rhythm guitar part. Okay, one thing to be aware of is your right hand and really accenting the downstrokes on your right hand. So as if you were playing along with it in sync with the snare drum. So we're just going to be playing one bar of E and then one bar of D and A. So it goes E, D, A. Play that really slowly. Okay, let's play the chorus. We've got four bars of A and then we've got three bars of D and two bars of A. So it'll be one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, four, one, two, and then we're back to the main. Okay, and the groove is pretty much the same as well when we're just doing that. And you wanna you don't wanna really stop with the music. Just keep playing all the way through. I'll show you again. Okay, let's break down Keith Richards' guitar lead break. So we're gonna start here with this kind of howling wolf killing floor sort of motif which is the first finger on the ninth fret and the first finger here on the E string and then we're going to bring that down two frets to a D which is a D major chord D triad on the D G and B strings and our pinky on the tenth fret and then we're going to play here this is an A chord with our first second and third fingers on the B fifth fret G sixth fret and the third finger on the D string a seventh fret and then we're going to do a strum of an E chord. Okay, so that happens four times. Now the first time we play that, we're going to play this lick here, which is like Smokestack Lightning again by Howling Wolf. Which is straight slide from second to fourth fret. First finger on the B string, third fret. And then two notes, fourth to second, which is a B and an A. Open G, and then E root note. Obviously, we're going to play the motif again. Then we're going to play this lick. Now, we're going to use our second finger on the G string, ninth fret. First finger on the eighth, um, the eighth fret on the B string. And these are two downstrokes, the G and B, with our right hand, two downstrokes. 
And then we're going to do an upstroke. And then when we come on, this is on the 10th fret, B string. When we, we're going to do two notes on the A. This is an A note. So we're going to go up, down. When we do that down, we're going to bend the A to the B natural, the 10th fret to the, the 12th fret. And then again, down to the 10th fret, 8th fret, and then this, a 9th fret on the G string. It never arrives at that B natural, so you can just be a little bit flat, and that's how you'll get that authentic Keith Richard sound. Okay, then we're going to play the riff again. Got that lick. And then we're going to play the riff again. And then we've got this lick here, 15th fret bend. First thing on the 12th fret, E note. And then we've got a bend from the A to the B note on the 14th to 16th fret, B, G string. You can use your second or third finger. Thanks guys for checking out this video. This is episode one. Episode two is coming very soon. If you've got any suggestions of any songs you'd like me to cover, don't forget to leave them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Say